everybody, this is your love reading from Born Without Boundaries. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do. And also ring that bell so that you know when I upload all the content. My name is Michelle. Welcome to my channel if this is your first time discovering us. This is your weekly romantic tarot reading. So it's going to be the general vibes between this weekend and next weekend. And maybe even a little past that. Definitely surrounded about the energy of the weekends. Coming off with that romantic vibe. We're going to see what's going to be happening for each zodiac sign. So I'm going to go per zodiac sign with a general love reading and then I'm gonna go back over to the extended and we're gonna do a who's coming towards you on the extended and that link is below I've already pre shuffled and clarified meditated on the cards so I'm gonna get right into it we start with Scorpio let's start with Scorpio relationship patterns it takes strength to recognize the need for change this is interesting. It's almost like, are you in a karmic partnership? That's what this tells me. In terms of romance, either you're in karmic partnerships or you always find yourself in the same kind of relationship. And the relationship is never something that completely and totally makes you happy or keeps you fulfilled. This is maybe being forgiving, maybe being too closed off. Setting unhealthy boundaries. That means boundaries that are too thick or too thin. Letting too much in, letting the wrong people in, or allowing for too much, and then turning around or blocking everybody out and, and remaining by yourself for a very long time. This is a, an energy of look at yourself and see how you contribute to what's happening with your relationships. This could be that you're in a long-standing relationship, you're very happy, but you've been seeing that there have been things that keep coming up. Things like there's there's issues. This you say the same thing over and over again, and nothing seems to change. So this is at the very least a time for a heart to art conversation, a time to open up to your partner and say, "This is what I'm feeling, and this is what I'm seeing. We've got to do something about it." And then give them a groundwork, like come come with a plan, come with a suggestion. Now, if you're not in a loving partnership and you are in a karmic partnership, which this does lend me to believe that whoever is out there, most of you are in karmic partnerships where the same thing just keeps happening. You somehow keep, you can't let one person go. You, or you don't want to let one person go, even though this person doesn't make you happy. And it, and it's never completely fulfilled you. The idea of the relationship has fulfilled you. The idea of who they are has fulfilled you, but it's not, it's never been complete. It's never been completely fulfilling. <sighs> Surrender to the divine. Oh, this is this energy, this weekend, or not this weekend, this coming weekend or the weekend following is an energy of forgiveness and cleansing. It means that this is a time to let those old patterns go. This is a time to forgive, forget, and move on. This is a divine timing when the energy will strike you right, Scorpio, to be able to let go and break those patterns. This is a good message when it comes to this card that you will soon or you've been working on breaking these relationship patterns so that you don't keep going back to the same person or letting them come back into you that you are actually strong enough and ready now to move on and say goodbye, but not only say goodbye to them, say goodbye to people that are like them, say goodbye to the same kind of character types. You know, you could get rid of, rid of one and then the new one that comes in is just like them. And so this is the energy of you not making that mistake again, those same decisions. This is the energy of you finally being able to let go of the pattern and the choices that have kept hurting you this whole time as well as literally let go of the person or the people that have kept hurting you and you're just oh it, it's a it's it's meant it's meant to be it's it's a full moon in the divine pattern of this is meant to be the time when you release it you will have the strength it will be in alignment for you to just be able to say goodbye and make it be part of your past and move on to something completely new not necessarily right away with a new relationship 
but definitely with um, a sense of yourself, a sense of yourself that you maybe never had before, an understanding of life and happiness that maybe you never had before. In other words, a healthy outlook on life that will allow you to choose differently and not repeat those patterns again. Oh boy, Scorpio. Now, who will be coming towards you? That link is below. Um, let's move on to Sagittarius. Sagittarius, miracles and blessings, everything has its gift. This is interesting, especially in conjunction with your week ahead reading where it was, it was really um, kind of rough energy, but it seems like you've been getting some very supportive energy or for Sagittarius's who are single or looking to be single, there's gonna be options. Oh, oh, coming next weekend, you're gonna have options. By next weekend into the weekend after, you're going to be able to have your choice. There's going to be numbers coming in or people just to talk to and have fun with. Maybe you're dating more than one person. You're just going to be able to have um, a choice in the matter. Or if you're in a steady relationship, this is the energy of feeling really blessed because you're with somebody who is constantly supporting you and taking care of you or somebody who has your back. Maybe not taking care of you, but somebody who has your back even though the rest of the world doesn't. So um, this is a really benevolent energy um, over the next couple of weekends that you will be able to have, um, I don't want to say the upper hand, no, but it's almost like, it, especially if you've had some sort of stalemate lately where you've had this dry spell or you felt like you were disconnected somehow from your partner or you've been trying to date and nobody's really, really been interested in interesting nobody's really been interesting to you or the people who are interesting to you you're not interested in them vice versa that's all going to change it's going to flip around in your favor you could be meeting somebody that becomes very significant or at least like makes you feel that way again that you haven't felt in a while a time to give rather than take this is very interesting. So maybe the miracles and blessings are coming from you, especially if you're in a long-term relationship. This is you making the effort to show somebody else that they're important to you. This is, in other words, this is just a good time to do it. It's a good time to show you care. Now, if you're single, it's a good time to be the one that goes up to that person that you're attracted to, that you see, and, and make the move. Even if you no, wouldn't normally have confidence in yourself, this is a good time to have confidence in yourself because you're really blessed and you've kind of got that lucky, that lucky strike, <laughs> that luck, that lucky, um, that, that luck, uh, around you, surrounding you, um, next weekend and, 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 and maybe into next weekend, but more primarily next weekend. So this is a really good energy for going up and making that move and taking that chance and taking that risk. If you've had somebody on your mind that you've wanted to connect with for a long time, this is a good weekend to reach out to them because you're not going to get a bad response. You're not, you know, they're going to be happy to hear from you. All right, all right. Let's move on to Capricorn. Capricorn, your romance tarot for this coming weekend. Listen with your heart. I feel like there's going to be a heart to heart between you and somebody else. This is you understanding somebody else's perspective, being able to sit down and actually have a conversation with them. Maybe somebody that hurt you, but this is definitely you hearing from somebody that you needed to talk to or you needed to hear from, or finally you being able to realize their perspective or their point of view. Either way it is, Capricorn, it's you being willing to listen. So if you're single and somebody's approaching you, it's it's even if they're not normally your type, this would be a, well, just have a conversation with them. Open that, uh, open yourself up to a conversation with this person. Listen with your heart, not necessarily just with your ears. So follow your heart. If, if, if your brain is telling you, no, don't listen to them, that this isn't a good time, that you don't, you don't want this interaction with them, but your heart says, just give it a chance. You want to listen, just listen to them. Just try to hear them out. Then do it and open your heart while you open your ears. Let's look at their moon card, um, uh, Capricorn. Confidence is your key to success. Believing in yourself. Believing in yourself. So this is, to me, this is almost like receiving an apology. 
and believing it and understanding and trying to you being open hearted and saying, okay, I'm going to understand this other person's point of view. This doesn't mean that you're going to get back together with somebody, but it feels like somebody's going to be coming back and apologizing to you or trying to make amends and trying to explain things to you. Something that will make you feel better about your experiences with that person and either help you move on or help you move on with them, help you forgive and forget. I'm not saying that's a guarantee. I'm just saying at the very at least it's going to help rebuild your confidence you know make you feel a little bit better about the way that things ended if they ended or at least help you understand why they had to end at the very least or if this is brand new and you're just you're just single and you're just meeting people this is really going to be next weekend is really going to be this energy of building up your confidence of people coming in and 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 wanting to talk to you and um being interested in you. Um, maybe you get phone calls from people that you haven't heard from in a while, or maybe people are uh, swiping uh, right instead of left. I don't know, whatever it is, you're going to have, you're going to have those options coming into you and it's going to really build up your self-esteem and your confidence again. It's going to fill you up. That's good Capricorn. Actually, I'm really happy to hear that for you. All right. So we move on to Aquarius. Ooh, Aquarius, you are just dancing with your love. This is romance coming in for you next weekend. This is that feeling of lusciousness, of spending some intimate time and finding out that somebody that wants you just as much as you want them. Almost feeling like you're lost in a dream. Maybe this is somebody that you have been dreaming about, somebody that you've been wanting to make a connection with or feeling a connection with, and it was never official, but suddenly something's going to pop next weekend, and you're just going to be surrounded in this beautiful dream like this this romantic scenario of of just the two of you it's almost like the whole rest of the world melts away and it's just the two of you now this is for if you're in a long-term relationship or if you're just meeting somebody so this is you as a single uh, Aquarius being able to welcome in this person that is just gonna sweep you off your feet or it's you being in a long-term relationship with somebody who you're going to be extra romantic with. Maybe you're going away on a romantic weekend, or maybe you're just staying at home and the way that they look at you, you know, a, a hug from behind. There's just a, a sense of heat and um, attraction and just eroticism and arousal all around you next weekend. This is a beautiful, beautiful energy coming in for you. A new romantic cycle begins. Oh, maybe this is Libra energy, Aquarius. Maybe you're getting together with a Libra and this is somebody that you are perfect for. This is a wonderful match for you. But at the same time, it's somebody who makes you feel balanced. It's like they make your life make sense and you make their life make sense. This is a perfect match for you is what it is. Aquarius, this is beautiful energy coming in for you. It's like finally everything is working out and working in your favor. And this does tend to favor or talk to Aquarians who are just starting out in a new relationship. Unless it's um, an old relationship that feels new again because you sort of revitalized, reinvigorated that feeling of romance between the two of you. But mostly this is for single Aquarians. You're going to have somebody coming into your life next week that is really going to sweep you off your feet. Ooh, don't we all want to be Aquarians for next weekend? All right, let's move on to Pisces. Oh, oh, bop chicka bow bow, Pisces. This is probably something that you've been wanting to hear for a while because somebody is on your mind and somebody is in your heart and you just need to be around this person. This is a sense of finally coming into contact, into the same room, into being with this person that really just, you almost thought that they were a unicorn, like they wouldn't even exist. Um, maybe you've been looking for somebody for a very long time and could never find anybody to gel with or finally be happy with. And now it's like this person is here. You're looking at next weekend. So I feel like there could be some some flirtation with you or some signs or signals coming in over the week. But Pisceans, by next weekend, there is this essence of true love coming into your life. It could even be something that you're dealing with from somebody from your past even a resolution with, of, with somebody just closing things out. Bottom line is this is somebody who was the love of your life. This is somebody who just will affect your heart in a way even moving forward will be a part of your future or even though they're a part of your past, they'll always be a part of you. This is your true love that is going to reemerge next weekend. 
Your moon card is step out of your comfort zone. Ooh, ooh. So essentially, Pisces, it's you making the move. It's you opening yourself up to this new potential or this new possibility with this true love. In other words, to find this true love, you've got to do something different than you normally would. If you normally wouldn't take the first, make the first move, make the first move. If you normally wouldn't go out with this type of person, go out with this type of person. This is telling me that this person is going to be something so different from what you normally would have been attracted to this is somebody who is so right and so perfect and yet it doesn't seem like that on the outside this is they're gonna they're really gonna surprise you this is gonna take you by storm mm. oh la la that's great okay all right uh moving on remember this is all next weekend's energy here we go aries Relax, rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take a break. So either you're taking a break from the dating world because you're just done with people, you need to just sit at home and be by yourself next weekend, or this is you and your boo hanging out at home, not making any big plans, staying in, making dinner, ordering pizza, or maybe it's just DiGiorno. Do you know what I'm saying? But it doesn't matter. This is a, a feeling of, you know, you guys are usually so energetic and active and want to go out. No, next weekend is going to be very low key. So I feel like if you're not in a relationship next weekend, you're not going to find somebody new this coming weekend just because the energy is just relax and lay back. Don't look for it. At the very least, Aries, don't look for a new relationship next weekend because it's, it's not that kind of hunt and seek mentality next weekend. Next weekend is that feeling of chill if it's gonna come to you it's gonna come to you but maybe you just don't, you just want to take some time off because you need some time to rebuild you or like I said you're already in a relationship and this is a sense of either in some extreme cases you might be taking a break from that person because you just need some space and time away but I feel primarily for those of you in a relationship you're just gonna spend some low-key time with this person uh, work through your fears work through your fears. This is really interesting So spending this low-key time with this person actually has a motive behind it of working things out and hashing things out and, and having another conversation that is honest and true and Asking and, and asking them what they feel and being sincere with what you feel So even though there's no movement happening next weekend, it's a setup for movement to happen in the future That's really interesting energy Aries and I kind of like that. That's that's really great. This is also a sense of healing and renewal for those of you who are leaving an old relationship behind. Don't try to rush into a new relationship right away. Just just be you. Be your date for that weekend. That's also this energy of just this is your time to heal. So it's either your time to heal with somebody else by just chillaxing and putting the focus on the two of you and not going out and just talking to each other and setting up the future or it's just you spending time with you and not trying to set up anything or worried about the future. You're just actually really happy to be single right now. All right, Aries. Ooh, that's actually some powerful energy. And honestly, we can all use those weekends. Like, do you. That doesn't mean you can't have fun. Moving on to Taurus energy. Be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. So who have you been dreaming about, Taurus? Because you're about to come into alignment. You're about to come into alignment to have this romantic partner enter into your life. So if there is something fated and destined for you to come into con somebody that something fated and destined for you to experience in your life, it's popping off next weekend, maybe into the weekend afterward. This is an energy of something magical happening, but it's not magical. It's an alignment. It's destiny. It's fated. This could also be in a current relationship that you're with, Taurus. This could be an energy of this is a new cycle, a new karmic cycle. Cycle that the two of you are going into a new level to your relationship a new a new kind of relationship that the two of you are having maybe the two of you um, maybe one of you had to travel a lot and now your spouse doesn't have to travel a lot you could spend more time together maybe you're spending less time together because one of you has to start traveling this is definitely just an energy shift in your relationship so maybe you're deciding to get married maybe you're deciding to get divorced this is definitely the beginning of a new excuse me, karmic cycle in your relationship, Taurus's couples. Now, Taurus's singles, everything's getting into alignment, everything. So you're going to kind of, you might actually be swept off your feet and taken off guard by the, by a person, because I don't even think you're going to be thinking of, 
um, being in a relationship with somebody uh, next weekend, but all of a sudden from across a crowded room, that's the energy. A win-win outcome is forecast. This is Libra. This is love. This is you too, Taurus. This is an energy ruled by Venus. Libra is ruled by Venus, right? And so are you. So understand that this is love coming into you. This is, this is, this is full love. This is also a sense of a full moon. So maybe you're letting go of one love and welcoming in another. Or maybe you're letting go of wanting to be single or being afraid to be in a relationship. Maybe you're letting go of um, being angry with your spouse and you're just ready to forgive and move on to the next step and accept it for what it is. Whatever it is, it's this energy of letting go of something that was burdening you and unbalancing you in order to find balance inside of yourself and open yourself up to the alignment that's coming in for you, which is filled with love and potential for love. Mm. I'm going to definitely want some comments from Taurus because I really want to know what's up. Get to know each other. This is an energy that's coming in for Gemini. So Gemini, this is actually a really wonderful, mature energy for the two of you. This is an energy maybe of somebody that you've known for quite some time or just an energy of really wanting to take your time getting to know this person, having great conversations. Maybe from across a crowded room, you found somebody and all of a sudden you strike up a conversation and you just can't stop talking to them. And I know you can talk to anybody about anything, but it's like they can talk back and you're actually interested, interested in what they have to say. You're going to meet somebody this weekend, this coming weekend, that is, generally speaking, somebody who is in line with who you are and who you're very interested in. Either that or this is, this is almost, to me, has the vibe of somebody that you've already met and started dating and it's that, that your relationship is sort of picking up. You know, it's, it's getting deeper because you're more interested. You're spending more and more time to, with each other. Oh, maybe you're going to go away and spend the whole weekend together. Maybe this is your first weekend going away together. This is that kind of energy of it getting deeper without you intentionally wanting it to get deeper. This is just something that is natural flow. You could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. The energy is gaining momentum. Well, <laughs> you can't make this shit up. Like these two cards are totally in alignment. And look at how romantic. This is my romantic moon. Mm. So Gemini, this is definitely the energy of whoever you've been seeing. It's getting deeper. You're getting more intrigued by them. They're getting more intrigued by you. It's getting more serious. But you're not want you're, you're not intentionally trying to make it serious. It's happening naturally. In other words, this is not an energy that you're going to resist because it feels so comfortable and it feels so right. So Gemini let it let it happen just welcome it in because it's going to happen in a way that is not like you're not going to want to stop it let's put it that way if this is gemini's just single gemini's who um don't have anybody in their life right now I, this is an energy of it picking up and you meeting more people who interest you more. So at least having options that are a, a little bit more substantial than the people that you've been meeting so far. And if this is long-term uh, Gemini's, this is definitely the two of you deepening your love for each other, being able to spend one-on-one -on -one personal time together, maybe just get away you know, get away with each other and uh, for the weekend or, or whatever it is, stay in, stay in, go out. I don't care. Whatever it is, the two of you are going to finally get to spend some quality time with each other and it's going to feel really good. It's going to feel like, oh, why haven't we done this in so long? Because life gets in the way, but this, this, this coming weekend, everything's going to get out of your way and you're going to be able to have that wonderful, beautiful time with your love. Mm. Oh, Gemini, that is so awesome. <laughs> oh my God, okay, my hair is a mess. I know, look at me. It's like, who would date me at this point? Whatever, it's whatever, I understand. Cancers, back to what you love. Reevaluate your desires. Oh, this is, this is, this is like either you feeling your way back to, basically Cancerians, this is you being so focused on doing what you love, you don't even realize that you're stepping right toward a person that's in love with you. And that's exactly where the universe wants you to be. This is a feeling of finally finding somebody who you can move forward with or um, finding the path of your own life and your own direction and it leading you to somebody that you're really interested in, bringing you to that path, bringing you to um, it's like a message that says you're on the right path. You're on the right track. Keep going because look, the person is up ahead. 
So it could also be that somebody from your past is coming back and it could also be or that you are returning to somebody that you used to be with or somebody is returning to you. A sense of um, rekindling a romance that uh, had been sweltered or even just getting back into the swing of things when it comes to romance if you've been out of the game for some time. But there's this beautiful energy of just traveling on your path. It's like knowing your person is out there and just not thinking of when it's going to happen. You just keep moving forward because you're on the right track. That's all I keep hearing over and over again. Cancerians, you're on the right path. You're on the right track. You're going in the right direction. So keep going. And don't think about it. Don't think about it beyond that. Here we have have faith in your dreams. Cancers, you have to take a risk. And it's not a risk on love. It's a risk on your dreams. What do, what do, look at how beautiful that card is. This is like a springtime moon. So maybe just maybe this is, this is calling out by springtime something new is going to happen to you in your life. But essentially what it's saying is you need to follow your dreams and you need to continue to work on your dreams because your dreams aren't just you manifesting your dreams into reality. Your dreams are leading you to your person. So you have got to keep focusing on them and keep heading on that path because you are on the right track and you're manifesting something beautiful. I love this card. This is like my favorite card in the deck. It's so beautiful. Just saying. Um, all right, we're moving on to Leo. Be willing to express love. Leo, you have to show somebody that you love them. That's, that's exactly what this card is saying. Gentleness, kindness, patience. Don't speak, listen. This is an energy of um, be willing to receive love, but also be willing to show love and give love. Demonstrate that you care because somebody in your life may, may be feeling like you're neglecting them or that you've lost focus on their relationship or that they're doing everything and you're not doing enough. And maybe even if, even if that hasn't happened yet, there's an energy of, Make the extra effort this coming weekend. Like, let them know how special they are to you and how much they mean to you. Let them know. And this is for Leos that are already in relationships. Just let them know. Let them know that you are uh, so in love with them and that you're grateful for everything that they do and how impressed you are with them. Something may big may come in for your spouse or your significant other. Like something really huge and show that pride in them. Like show them that you're the, you are their number one fan. That's what we that that's going to really get you so far next weekend. Now for Leos that are um, not in relationship, you're looking for a relationship. Well, uh, we'll see who's coming towards you. That's in the extended, but this is the energy of you're the one that's going to show that you're interested. You're the one that's going to make the first move. You're the one that's going to initiate it. What um, it, it could start very easily. It could start through a text message, but you know, it would progress to calling you on the phone or call, calling them on the phone you seeing somebody from across the crowded room and walking up to them and just saying hi it's you demonstrating that you're interested because honestly leo this is sort of an energy of this person would never feel like you would approach them and they're going to need you to make the first move because you're going to kind of be stunning to them and and what kind of energy you love you would love that kind of attention from somebody who thinks you're that stunning but i understand they also have to have confidence and they do, but this is a person that we, it'll go a long way by you making the first move. Um, conclusions are within reach. So I think you're the one that's going to be making the decision next weekend. Are you going to make the move or are you not going to make the move? And ultimately, it's going to be your decision. If you want, if you want them, make the first move. If you're not that interested, then don't bother and keep looking. This is an energy of your actions being the deciding factor next weekend. So what that means is husband and wife, you express your love to your wife. That's going to change everything. If she was feeling brokenhearted or wanting to spend some time away from each other, or you felt this chasm growing between you, that's going to make all the difference. It's going to be that ultimate um, game changer. Your your actions and your the level of effort you put in next weekend to your significant other is going to be the deciding factor in how things proceed and if they proceed. Now, if you are single, you're going to be the deciding factor. You if you're going like I said, you're going to have to make the move. 
it, the person isn't going to come and approach you. It's either going to be because you're in too intimidating or they don't think that you'll have anything in common. And maybe you will, but the bottom line is it's going to have to be your decision to strike up that first part of the conversation. You're in control. You're up at bat, Leo. This is all you. Virgo, Virgo, I love you. These are powerful words. Oh, shit. So, Virgo, this is some beautiful romantic energy. This could be the first time that your boo tells you that, that you love, that, that they love you. This could be the first time you say it to them. This is going to be the first time you say it to each other. Or if you're in a long-term relationship, this is going to be like that you say those words to each other to remind yourself. You could be going to the symphony, taking somebody out on a very romantic date, just the two of you. This energy of upping the romance and demonstrating outwardly, especially with your words, that you love them. This could be you dedicating a song to them. Oh my God, you picking your, your first song together at your wedding. Like that could be this energy of the two of you deciding what your first dance together is, what, what, what song your first dance together is going to be to. This is that energy of planning in the future, planning in advance, but it has something to do with words and music. You could be going to a concert together. You could just be serenading somebody karaoke, whatever it is, or, or in your living room, whatever it is, it's the spoken word meaning a lot this weekend, Virgo. The, I, I, clearly not this, this weekend, that's just over with, but next weekend, the spoken word, telling each other that you love them, but not just through, I love you, but sing it to them. Let me sing to you. Let me sing to you. Let me sing to you. Sing it, sing it, sing it, or they'll be singing it to you. Or they'll be singing to you. There's an energy of love is in the air and music is in the air. It has that beautiful melodic feeling to it. Oh, I love that energy. Luck is on your side. Oh, yeah. Virgo, this is exceptional energy. This is Sagittarius energy, Sagittarius new moon. So something started over this Sagittarius new moon and it's going to, I think the aim, the, the arrow is going to land. The Cupid's arrow is going to finally strike. It's been heading in that direction. You may have been reluctant to believe it. You may have been reluctant to want to think about it because you, you didn't want to put too much pressure on it or, you know, if you thought about it too much, it would go away. It, you're gonna, it's going to be undeniable. This is going to be the big reveal next weekend. It's going to be the weekend where you're in love with this person. Everybody knows it. Your mom and dad start to meet each other. You know, the wedding plans are being set. This is definitely like Bam, the arrow hit the target. Next weekend is the weekend where, yes, I'm in love with this oaf and I can't help it. Even if you've been with them for, the, for forever, this is a feeling of a reconciliation, of finding that love and that romance with them again, of whatever they do for you really hitting the mark and going a long way because it's, it's just bringing back that energy of, oh my God, I'm so lucky to have you. I love that energy for you. Like, that is such a beautiful energy, Virgo. Oh, all right. Libra. Libra, love who you are. You are divine, delightful, and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer. This is destiny. Libra, you're on a one-way ticket to your destiny. Are you on that? Are you on... Is the person that you're with on board with you? So I think that that's, the, that's what's coming into question this week. Is the person that you're in love with on board with the direction that you're going? For some of you, I think, yes, they're, they're the wind in your sails. They're the ones supporting you and pushing you forward. And they've been there for you forever. And you're going to turn around and just lavish them with love and affection because God Almighty, if you didn't have their wind in your sails, you wouldn't have gotten to where you are. And you're going to acknowledge it and and in celebrating yourself and your own accomplishments, you'll also be celebrating them. This could be that, you know, you're going to a gala that honors you or, you know, you're, you're being honored or you're getting good news about your career or your future. And definitely you want to take them on board. This is setting sail with the people that you love because you're being driven by the people that you love, finding inspiration in the people that you love. People that you love make you who you are and you love that. You actually love that they're a part of everything that you've become. Mm. 
nothing will come of this situation. This is interesting. This is very conflicting energy. So it's a sense of maybe one of you feels something that the other doesn't. Or an energy of um, base. Oh, wow. This is an energy of feeling a con yeah, contrasting feelings. It's like you love them or they love you and the opposite is not true. So maybe this isn't the wind in your sails or they aren't the wind beneath you or they, you have felt that about them, but there is a sense that they feel left out in the cold and they feel like you're not giving enough back. So that's going to be a conflict that you come up against this weekend, uh, this coming weekend, Libra, this energy of they feel left out in the cold, even though you feel fulfilled. So you may be taking off in everything that you're doing, but them, it feels like they're just left behind somehow. They feel very distant from you. This is an energy that you're going to want to address next weekend. This is also an energy that maybe you're deciding to actually leave them um, because you feel completely um you feel completely um, left out in the cold or that this energy has gone dry and that there's nothing that you can do about it anymore. You can't save it. So you decided to strike out on your own, make yourself the center of your attention. I've been getting that energy a lot for you guys. This could be the energy of divorce, which was very, very different from um, the first part of the reading, but it, with this card, it kind of changes everything. This is a feeling of taking off and going on your own into your own direction without anybody else, or gonna, you're going to turn around and you're going to talk to somebody. You're going to talk to them. This might be the time to call in a counselor as well. And to just say, Hey, I know, I know that my significant, I know that we're having these issues. We need to talk about it because one of you, this is distance. This is the feeling of distance. One of you is soaring and focusing primarily on who you, on who they are. And the other of you is feeling completely isolated, completely ignored. And like, you're not even in a relationship anymore. So this is still the energy of you. And, and it's, we, it's strange because I do still think the first part of this, the, the first part of the reading is true in that one or the other of you Libra and I'm feeling that it's more you it's like you don't even realize how isolated and cold they feel for you because you feel very grateful for them you feel like you've done everything to appreciate them but they don't they feel completely cold they feel left behind and this is something that you you it's good that you're addressing it this weekend because it's if you want this person to stay in your life or they want you to stay in their life, then you're going to have to have a serious sit down and figure some stuff out. All right. For those of you who are looking for um, who's coming towards you, that link is below. I'm going to continue this reading on the other side so that um, so that we can see who's coming towards you. I hope I see you there. Bye, guys.